I like the sultry secretive nature of the speakeasy. They defied the law at unlimited, unlimited hours of fun, proliferated anywhere and everywhere, including covert locations such as state basements, unofficial store locations, and intimate rooms. Interestingly enough, people flock to these hideaways. Why? Because as natural human beings, we seek pleasure, enjoyment, celebration, and community, especially during challenging times. In most cases, the speakeasy and its alcohol was fortified by the wealthy. So for the first time in American history, rich and poor illegally partied together. And it didn't stop there. Even racial barriers were broken down and African-Americans and whites and unison indulged outside of the law and celebrated life and community. I believe it's our natural instinct to come together in community and in celebration, especially in challenging times. And when it's denied, we'll find avenues, even if it's illegal, in order to meet our human needs for true connection. We will dissolve differences, absolve judgment of race and socioeconomic status. Why? Because at the end of the day, we are all humans craving connection. I challenge you in creating your Roaring 2021 to dissolve those manufactured barriers of interaction and seek an easy pathway to true human connection. Matt? That's fantastic, Kimberly. Let me share a story. It was towards the end of the day and a coworker came to me into my office exasperated. She started listing off all the challenges that she was facing on her project. After listening a while, I suggested that we head over to a bar, have a beer, and just talk things through. She stared at me in amazement for a moment before saying, okay. We got over to the bar and we had a long conversation about all the issues. That was 20 years ago, and my coworker, now friend, still brings up this story. It was exactly what she needed in that moment to disconnect from the problems for a while and reflect on them objectively. And for me, it highlights the value of building relationships with coworkers, both inside and out of the workplace. And of course, getting out of the workplace gives you a different perspective and just broadens your horizons. A drink can certainly help us into open conversations. It does help us to speak more easily. What do you think, Sam? Well, thank you, Matt. The Roaring Twenties Speak Easies teach us many lessons about business to apply to the Roaring 2020s. The interesting thing is that they demonstrate many characteristics of entrepreneurship. For example, Speak Easies were places that understood the concept of taking risks. As you know, alcohol was prohibited, so selling it was dangerous. As business owners, we must take risks to be successful also. Secondly, the speakeasies demonstrate the ability to meet a want or need of the consumer. In those days, it provided alcohol, but more importantly, socialization. Currently, businesses must also meet the wants or needs of the customer. The speakeasy just many lessons about the culture of the Roaring Twenties, which correlate to the Roaring 2020s, we learned that taking risks is vital for progress. In addition, we learned that you must solve a want or need of the customer. So when we reflect back on the speakeasies, let's remember those lessons so that we can have a roaring 2021. What do you think there, Claire? Well, thanks, Sam. You know, when I think about the speakeasies of the roaring 20s, I think about exuberance. I think about celebration. I think about joy. And I think about having lots of fun. Okay, maybe too much fun. But the point was, these owners of the speakeasies wanted to bring joy to their customers. They wanted them to have a good time and be able to celebrate. And today, as business owners, we can all learn from that. For example, one of my manufacturing clients brought that kind of joy to a vendor that wasn't even a customer of theirs because they were willing to scour the globe to find custom packaging for that vendor's virtual trade show event. Well, I think you all know what the moral of that story was. That vendor not only became a new customer of, of, of my clients, but they also became 
their raving fan. So as we think about the roaring 2020s, let's think about ways that we can bring our customers joy, help them celebrate the times that we're in today, despite the circumstances, and just enjoy and celebrate life. Thanks, Claire. Speak easy in the roaring 20s. What fun. Matt, you mentioned alcohol. It gives the excuse to put down our mask and speak more easily, right? Through a shared experience. Sam, you spoke about as entrepreneurs, we need to look at the bigger problems out there that need to be solved and not be afraid of taking risks. Claire, you speak about joy, exuberance, and just plain fun. We need to have just more fun. So let's find ways to bring joy to our relationships and importantly, to our customers. And yes, we're all craving connection. So I ask, what speak easy solution are you going to incorporate into your personal and professional connections and your roaring 2021? Cheers. 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 Cheers.